Okay. It's okay. <laughs> We're getting ready. Linda had to turn the TV off. <clears throat> it's uh, it's going to be a beautiful day here today. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of kind of cold to me. These long sleeves feels good to me, and uh, but it's not going to be. It's not really as cold. <laughs> good morning. I'm Lynn. I'm Mary. <laughs>
You don't even have to measure them because I know okay. that what's in that bag. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, pick these berries out with this with these tongs because I don't want the juice that's in the bottom of it in there. I guess we could use a little strainer colander. That's okay. I can get it out like this. Okay. Well, I probably could have got you one out, Mary, but I just okay. didn't. That's okay. Well, I didn't think about it before we got on, so that's I would have probably just put the juice in there, but that's oh, all right. Do you want me to put the no, juice in there? No, no, no. Just, just I don't put the berries out because it might make it too, might make it too much liquid in here. That juice is good. Are you, are you waiting on me? Oh, that's okay. I'm fixing <laughs> to put some more stuff in here. I've got my jumbo or large muffin pans. Um, somebody asked me the other day because I call them jumbo. Uh, was it a difference in the large and the jumbo? Was, was there another one? These are these are large, but they're yeah. they're jumbo. And I, the reason I say jumbo, they are larger than a large muffin pan. Now, Linda, let me ask you that. When you put these up, you put sugar on, did you? I do. Uh, yes. I noticed that. I this. do that with my peaches yeah, and with. I do too. Um, with strawberries, yeah. anything that I'm yeah. putting up that I like that that's fruit, I put up. So I'm going to use my um, cordless mixture here. And um, I guess I'll go ahead and get this started mixing. Okay. okay. Let me um, get this out of the way. Uh, get that uh, little bit of blueberry that I dropped. Oh, you got it right there. I had it right. I had it right. I didn't know that's what you were doing. Um, so, um, I've got my eggs here, and you're basically going to make, <laughs> whoops, I already cracked one of them. You're basically going to make this uh, cake mix according to uh, package directions, except I do vary just a little bit on it. But uh, you're okay if you want to make it by package directions. This is flour. This is sugar. I'm not necessarily lifting this up. I'm just put, putting it over the blueberries. And I'm using imperial sugar. I'm going to just pour the milk of the eggs in here. And then I'm going to uh, get my oil. Now, in this milk, I put lemon juice. And it's freshly squeezed lemon juice. You can use the bottle. I do keep it in my pantry. But I prefer freshly squeezed. Don't you think it makes yes, a big difference, yes, Mary? Yes, I do. This is fresh blueberries with a little flour and a little sugar to coat them. The reason for that is so that it the, it will doesn't sink, sink yeah. in the in your cake mix. So would you hand me that oil? I could reach over you, but thank you. And we'll set that aside and you get my flavorings ready for me, Mary. Okay. This is just regular vegetable oil. Again, I'm kind of I'm not making this to package directions, but I am, um, um, but you can if you want to. I just, I do mine a little bit different. This is lemon, lemon flavoring. I don't need a special out either. I was reading some of the comments last night and people were laughing because, oh, they forgot something again. Yep. It's very easy to forget something. You think you got everything laid out and nine times out of ten, you don't. Know, or I don't. And then, uh. Vanilla flavor. We're just gonna mix all this up together. Okay. A little bit too much. Okay. okay. You threw it this, right? Yes, I am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me get this out. And let me get a spatula since I forgot to get one over here. Double check the. Sorry. Okay. Double check my recipe. I don't think I've left anything out, but just to make sure. Okay. So this is the classic spatula. It's my favorite. Do you have a favorite I spatula? No, nah, that's my favorite. That one and the little one. The little yeah, one. the little one. So, um, 
I didn't over mix this, but I'm checking to make sure there's not anything in the bottom. So if you'll just put those in, over in here, Mary, I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of fold them over. Not, you don't want to beat these because you yeah. tear them all to pieces. Right. Don't now, that look good? It sure does. It does look, now, do you want to put yes, that in there? I do. You can use this. Um, it makes me so excited and so happy when I'm cooking with something I know that I picked. Right. Used to when Mama would send us something when uh, I think about Albuquerque because when we lived up there mm -hmm. and she we would get a package in the mail and I would just cry because I knew that Mama's hands made that. Yeah. Whatever yeah. it was, Mama right. was the one that done it. It's just, it's something that just gives you a lot of, um, it's a lot of labor and love in it. Yes, it, you know that it was done with love. So you see how beautiful that is? That is just gorgeous. So we got the pants ready. Y'all know I don't flower. I just generously grease. I'll take your whack rag. <laughs> okay. And I've, I've got this oil. This is um, a big scoop that from Sam's. It's not a tempered shelf. And I'm just going to. It's going to take more than one uh, scoop, but I'll start out with one scoop. And now, if you wanted to get real serious, you could count the blueberries, but I'm past that. I'm not counting them. Uh, if you did that, you'd have to put them in here and not mix them with the batter, and I wanted to mix with the batter. So, I don't have my other pan uh, greased. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to see how much. You want me to grease it? I, I don't know that I'm even gonna need okay. it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put about a scoop and and then I'm putting another half a scoop in here. Okay. In each one. It's probably gonna um, take a little bit more, but I think what I'm gonna do instead of greasing, if I need more, mm -hmm. I've got some muffin wrappers up there. I think I'm gonna get out. Yeah. I guess I won't let you get it because I'm not yeah. sure where you go. Well, it doesn't seem like I've got quite a bunch in that one, does it? No, no. Do they look about even or no. look about even? I don't know. I'll put a little bit more in that one. Looks like you got about two more in there. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm going to show y'all what I was talking about. These are for large muffins. Mm -hmm. And, um, you don't have to grease your, you don't have to grease your pan. Mine does that too. Well, mine, I've never had mine to come apart, but um, I think I probably just picked them up wrong. It, say, it keeps it from uh, dirtying the pan. <laughs> yeah, you and not know knowing how many I'm going to need. Right. Now, now, this is for large muffins. Yes. I'm going to show y'all the difference. Oh. Uh, it's quite a bit uh, yeah, smaller yeah. than the big pan. Yeah, these pans are really, that's, so that's, that's why, why they're called jumbo. That's why I call yeah. them jumbo. Because right. they are. So it may only take one scoop in these. I want to get them big enough to scoop. Yeah. It's like you may have three. We'll, we'll see if we maybe just put a little bit more. You've got quite a bit more in here. It's amazing how you, when you use these scrapers, how much more you can get out of there. Yeah, you can. You sure can. Okay, Linda. Thank you. Put just a little bit more in this one. I think I'm going to put a few more of this in these. You think that will run over if I do? Well, or should I just... This is not enough for a whole one. No. Um... Uh, it just make it rise up to be a pretty uh, muffin top, so I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna run over. It's gonna take them longer to cook. Yeah. No, I'll put the rest Where do you want this? I'll put the rest of this one right here. That may not have quite as much. more than what I thought you would get out of it with those yeah. jumbo cups, I jumbo I figured, um, what, is, what recipe did I did the other day that made six? 
And these are actually, I probably could have made 10 easily, but I put a little bit more in there. So I'm going to set the timer on um, probably like 18 minutes. I don't think they'll be done then, but I'm going to set it on 18 minutes and then we can check. Now, you're gonna, now what all are you going to be using for the... Uh, I, the fat, the so glaze. for the glaze, we're going to use any of these limits. Yes, leave those out if you will. Um, and you won't be using the oil. Now I'm done with the oil. Thank you. And um, are you going to use this cup here, the one cup? I am because I'm going to squeeze with this one. Um, oh no, that one had that. That one there is. Yeah, I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm going to squeeze some more lemon juice. Well, um, we haven't had the corset. Weren't it February last year, maybe, that came to Big Freeze? Yeah. I don't think we're going to have that kind of weather this year. What do you think? What are you thinking? Well, I don't know. You know, Molly always said, if you hadn't had a winter, to look out for February. Oh. She always said it, it was in February last year that yeah. we had that freeze. That, I so, know it was worse than it had been in years. I, I don't know. I can't even remember up to last year of it getting as cold as it did here last year. Yeah, it was. It, it was. It had been. I don't know if it's ever been that cold. Everything now. shut down. <laughs> it shut down around here because we weren't used to that kind of weather. So I guess we need this, do we? Um, Mary, do you do anything with your lemons when you when you uh, finish no, them? I don't. I know you do, and I know there's a lot of things that you can do with the lemons. Uh, I know you always eat a, a, a slice of lemon after you eat yeah, your meal. I do. Um, when we I go to a restaurant, I love lemon. She yeah. always has lemon in her tea, and then she uses that lemon to clean the palate after. So, um, if y'all mm. like fresh smelling, which I do, these are my lemons that I squeezed this morning. I love to clean out the sink with them. Yeah, I know. Um, you do and that. I don't have garbage disposal, but if you do, then. Uh, that's it's good for that too, okay. but it's really good to clean out your sink. I think Carla does that. She might, she might do it. And the other thing is, and now this is going to sound really weird, because we do empty our garbage almost daily. Oh, like, I we have a yeah. huge garbage can, and we, well, especially when we're cooking. But these are great. Just throw a couple in your garbage can to keep them smelling. Them smelling. And if I'm not going to use them right away, I put them in the freezer. And then the take lemons. them out and put them in the garbage can. The, the, the lemon hands. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. no, I, never did. I do. Uh, because it's just, um, they're just good to have around. So um, we're going to make the glaze and so we can have them ready. Um, you can measure out. Um, I'm not really, actually, you don't even have to measure it. You can just pour it in a bowl. Um, probably. About maybe about half full. Okay. And I'm gonna. Now, um, do you sip this? No. This okay. is this is um, imperial, and it's um, it's very soft. It's not naughty or anything. If it was naughty or old, you would want to sip it, but you don't have to with this. So I'm gonna grate, um, do some lemon, um, zest some lemon, and then I'm going to squeeze these two uh, lemons here, and we're gonna use those in the glaze. Okay. Hit it from your <laughs> to drop that sign. If we have to add more, we I can. think that that's, I think that's, that's it. it. This is this is not something that I measure a lot. You probably don't either, do you? The uh, you're making glaze. No, I don't. I, but I do sip mine. Do you? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, but I mean, like you said, it depends on. Uh, sometimes you'll get a bag that's, uh, I guess, is older or something. Well, you can, know, you can sit through that's okay. Right. No, 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 no. But no, I think no. this is, it looks, looks very soft. soft. It does. Yeah. I think it's good. So I'm going to um, get my zester here. Here's the best the zester I've ever used is the zester. And I'm so you're going to use some zest in your hand, yeah. in the lines? Uh, yeah, you don't want the pit, the white stuff in it. Uh, it smells so good. You get the oh, I love the going. Smell that. that and the orange peel. Yeah, mm, I, I do too. It. it takes a lot of lemons to get a lot of orange. It's it okay. uh, It's it's amazing, and we're not talking about maple right now, but um, 
I made pancakes a couple weeks ago and, and used the maple syrup that I had bought DJ Maxx and got a good price on it. Um, it's, um, I read when I was reading about that that it takes, I believe, now y'all may correct me if we have some of our Vermont people that um, watch us. I believe it said it takes 50 gallons of the uh, tap, the sap, to make one gallon of maple syrup. Wow. That, wow. Is, a, that is really, yeah. really Now, good. are you going to measure that or are you just going to do this? I'm not going to measure. I'm not going to measure. Okay. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to cut these. Squeeze your lemon. Are squeeze you going to measure your lemon juice or are you just going to squeeze yeah. it in there? Yeah. The lemon juice, I'm not. I'm not going to measure it. Okay. But, um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to put it in that one. I do, um, I do strain my own juice, yeah, because I don't want any little seeds in it. And I have an electric uh, lemon squeezer. Mike bought me um, our juicer, but um, I use that when I'm juicing. Oops. When I'm juicing a lot of lemons. Yeah, when you was uh, baking for the public, you did a lot. Oh my goodness. I was I was zesting three pound bags of lemons at a time. Yeah, I think that's probably enough to kind of strain it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm not going to measure. You're not going to measure? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's more of what their recipes is. <laughs> it is. It's more that. But we might we might not wind up making more glaze, too. Okay. <laughs> we might have a little bit more powdered sugar than what the recipe says, yeah. too. Yeah. So, and this, <coughs> this is not a glaze here, in case y'all wonder. This is too big for a glaze. Yeah. So we're going to put some... Uh, I'll take a little bit of lemon extract, Mary. Okay. You want me to make it? Yes. And I'm going to squeeze another lemon. And put it here. And uh, you can't always do this. You know, I realize we're doing this, you know, right now, and we don't have little kids running around and hollering and pulling on Mama's coattail. Or something so you might not can always do this you can actually make this glaze the night before mm -hmm. you know and then yeah. just re-whisk it um, the day that you're making your muffins so uh, of course any mama learns to have to adapt and um, I don't have to tell y'all about that this one's a little harder to squeeze and I probably ain't even gonna need all this but I'm gonna I'm going to let you I'm gonna work with about those Probably TJ Maxx. Probably because I got one just like it. I'm gonna let you kind of whisk that mm -hmm. while I pour some in. I don't want it to get too thin. Yeah. But I want it to be a glaze and not right. a frosting. See how smooth that is, Mary? Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't yeah. have a lot of No, it didn't. No. No, that kind of sugar was very soft. Velvety. That's still not quite. No, as... not quite. You don't need a whole lot more though. And one thing that I didn't um, get out, I usually put in it, is a little bit of salt. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So, I've got my lemons here that I'm going to use later. You can also put those in tea. In fact, I may use some of them for tea because I'm going to make you some tea, this tea in there? a little bit. Yes, I do. I love the smell of lemon zest. It adds such uh, an aroma to mm -hmm. something. I don't necessarily like trying to chew it, <laughs> but I do like adding it because it's um, it just makes it gives it a little bit of higher. Oh yeah, um, and it and the longer it flavor. sits in this glaze, the more it, it incorporates with the. I want to get something like that yeah. off. Yeah, uh, I, I brought it over here. Okay. Okay, so. Um, I'll get some of this out of the way and I'm going to show you what I did this morning. I felt like I was playing golf this morning. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, last night, um, I know, Mama, wait till I get back over on the camera. Mama did a lot of things for us. Um, and I think about that sometimes. I have. I don't think I've made. I have. Well, I made them all. Made all the granddaughters a comforter at one time, but I don't. Um, uh, I didn't make all my kids and grandkids 
a bunch of crafts the way Mama did. Yeah, Mama, Mama did for us. She worked. We have a lot of things that Mother made for us. We can get rid of it for nothing. Uh, but uh, I had not uh, I know Carla. She's got a little ceramic doll that Mama did, painted and remembered. The, mm -hmm. and she was doing um, crafts at that time and. She painted, she bought the, is it like, what is it, plaster of Paris or something? Yeah, she did and all she kinds of stuff. painted it and had it fired. It's a cute little thing, uh, a little doll, little girl. What I think is one of those little, uh, kind of like um, um, strawberry shortcake doll. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. So uh, this is set in my, over there on my hutch for probably as long as we've lived here. And, um... Mama made the rooster, the body and everything. She's we can see the feet now. She, she did a good job. I did not want to wash this whole thing because I was afraid it might come that apart. it might. I don't think it would have come apart, but I didn't want to take yeah. a chance on it. Yeah. But I took her. I took. I started saying her. I guess the rooster's. <laughs> like that. I took the clothes off. Which, uh, that's, I don't know if this is a rooster or just a chicken. Oh, I don't know, maybe it's just a chicken because she's got a dress on it. Yeah. So maybe it is a her. So anyway, I took her clothes off and hand washed them and dried them mm -hmm. and put them back on yeah. her. Yeah. And you can see how faded it is. Yeah. I've got some little, um, some little things, that, uh, a little dog in a little chair that uh, Mother made me. And I was looking at it the other day and I said, I need to wash that little girl's clothes. There's her little pantaloons that she's got on that Mama made. Yeah. So I just, um, I want to Mother show you Mother was all so this. crafty. She, I, she, she was she such a good seamstress. She could do anything. And yeah. I was trying to untie her knots. And I don't know if you're like this or not, Mary, but when Mama has put something together, it is the hardest thing in the world for she, me to do. Not, not some, because it's hard for me to do it, it's hard mentally for oh, me to, to do it, it because my mama's hands was the last ones that yeah. did this. Yeah. And it's very hard, but I took the knots down and they were not stuck. <laughs> mama I put them on there, I know. She I put them on there to stay. <laughs> I finally got them out and put it and washed it and put it back on there, but I wanted to show you. I don't have one of those. I, I didn't yeah. think you did. I, yeah. I, I, I've got a cow up there too, but I didn't take that out. Uh, and it will need to be something. I used we'll to have a cow, cow and I don't know what happened to my cow, Linda. I, she made me a cow. I got a little girl. Um, I think I'm not sure if I got the girl and the boy or not. And I have them in little rocking chairs. I know the grandkids is, used to play with it. Um, you know, it's, I guess we're kind of, or I, I know I am kind of emotional right now. Uh, thinking so much of Mama because of her book mm -hmm. and because we know we are so close mm -hmm. to getting this book in our hands that she wrote when she was, I was 17 reading years so old. I more of it this morning and I didn't want to put it down. I just kept reading. And so we wanted to kind of tie it together. Many of you have asked us about the latter part of her life and um, um, Charles and Edward and Mary and I have all written just a little small, um, just in some of honor us, of mother, yeah, a mom you know. and daddy. And so uh, we got that sent in to Karen, who <coughs> is our cousin that's, that has formatted this book and typed it and formatted it. And um, so I got that sent to her. And then I, the way I am, we, don't, we were not taught to put things on. No, at all. No. We were taught to tackle something head on. Yeah. You know, if you don't want to do, do it, it, you do it anyway. Right. But in my entire adult life, the things that I put off are the things that I dreaded to do. Yeah. Are you that way? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Either because I wasn't sure I knew how to do it, or either that would be something work related. To me, it's just facing it. If you're not wanting to do it, you've got to face it that you've got to got to do it. That's my problem. It's just, it's just, it's just tackling it right then. And most of the time, it's not near as hard as you think it will be right. if you start on a task. And Edward said something um, when we were all talking a few days ago about what Mama told him, and I won't say the exact words he said, but 
the best way to, to do something is just get it started, get yeah. started. Yeah, that's right. So sometimes that's all you need is just a little push. But to make a long story short, I knew that I was going to do a summary of the last part of Mama's life. I didn't dwell on uh, too much on the time that she left Mississippi and came back to Texas. So she wrote a lot of parts of that. Yeah, she yeah, did she write did. some of that. But I wanted to tell kind of basically um, a little bit of the last five right. years of her life and when, you know, when she had the wreck and, um, and then more especially what was hard was writing the last few days of her life. And the little Linda read it this morning. Mary hasn't read it. I wouldn't let her read it until after after we got through because she's going to be bawling. <laughs> and I sat in there at that computer and I, I'm like, I, I, this is, this is, and I knew this is exactly why I didn't want to do it because I'm sitting there in the room. I'm doing the embroidery. I'm doing exactly what we were, in my mind, I'm doing exactly what we were doing the night before. Yeah. You know, and the next day when yeah. we were trying to reach you and yeah. your phone had got turned off. And I don't know why that happens. My phone was just one of those things that One happened. of the three things I did not hear the phone. I don't know if it was turned off or down, but I did, they've been trying to call me all night, and I didn't. I guess the Lord knew I needed the rest. You did, because you've been know. up there for hours. But I wrote and I finished writing about the end of Mama's life, and it was, it was extremely emotional for me. I kept a calendar on the, my back wall in the office of 2003 and dared Mike to touch that calendar. I kept it there until last year and I finally took it yeah. down. But I didn't yeah. throw it away because it had a total timeline of everything from the last hospital visit until the day she died. But um, it's just, it's something like that. It's so, it's so deeply um, yeah. emotional. You know, there's us. a lot of things that, you, uh, that I do personally, and I'm sure you and everybody else does, that whenever, uh, when you're responsible for making decisions of your parents' life, there's several things that I did that I could, I actually have regrets on. I don't know whether I did the right thing or not, you know, about having her, uh, mother told us all the time that, uh, uh, that it was okay to get that feeding tube. Remember Mama telling us Mom that? Mom had one for several yeah, months. Yeah, Mom had one. And she told us that the time ever come, you know, that she couldn't eat, that she, that for us to give her the, to put the tube yeah. in. But, but something I did not know that I learned after the fact is there's different kinds of feeding tubes. Different things they do. It's different things. And what they did when, when I gave Mother, when I gave the doctors the okay, to have that done, they they did the one that I would not ever ever wish somebody to do. They stripped everything in her throat because, in other words, it was non-reversible. And there are feeding tubes that are that is not a permanent situation, but we didn't know that. So I feel like, and I and I can't dwell on it, but I feel like in one way that if we had to have that kind of procedure done that maybe in the, her last days she might have lasted a little bit longer because in the last she um what do you call it whenever the mother mother was a very uh small eater she didn't eat much and by her them feeding her uh in the feeding tube they gave her too much Remember, and what do you call that when the when her food comes back up and it gets in her lungs? What do you call that? Aspirate. Aspirate. So that's what happened to Mama, and you know I don't. And so it was. Um, it was. That's just really caused it. Well, death. you can't. You can't second guess your decision. But I didn't write about that. I couldn't. I couldn't write about that. But I did write about. You know, I wrote about the last few days, and um, it's just. Um, because she was such a strong woman, you just and didn't I, ever think that day would come, and, even though in your mind you, you know about life and death, yeah. but you just didn't think it would. But you know, um, looking back, at the reason that um, that I, I wasn't hearing your phone call and all that, I don't know that this is why the Lord let it happen that way, but if I'd have been there all night and Mama begging, us. See, I all of us have a connection with our parents in one in different ways. Right. 
mother, I would have known what mother was telling me there for lies. She would tell me to not to not let them do that to her. I know she would have said that to me. She said, because something she said to me before I left that night, is she said, Mary, they're killing me. Yeah. And so she, so she, I knew that she knew. You're that, talking about the beating too. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I, I was, it, it was just something that might have been too hard for me yeah. to handle. But there for life, knowing that I'm the one who gave them permission, but I'm the one who had the, what do you call it? The power of attorney. Right. I'm the one the doctor called. And um, so, and I called you before I told the doctors it's okay. You was in another state somewhere. I was, I wasn't even home. I was in Vernon. I'll never forget it. I had just sat down in a restaurant and had been there. I hadn't eaten all day long and I was hungry for catfish. And I had sat down and I had ordered me catfish. And while I was waiting on my food, I got that phone call. I couldn't eat the fish. Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah. And I wasn't traveling full time at that time, yeah. y'all. But I was on a project, and you so were was, you. But, but we wasn't, you know, we wasn't a, a long ways from home. But um, you just don't know what to do in situations like that. I know one of our friends is dealing with not something similar, but dealing with an older parent, a da her dad, that she's dealing with, you know. And uh, there's time. There's just situations that you have to make decisions and do for your parents not knowing whether that's the right thing the right route to take but you just have to do the best you can because uh it's your first time at that situation you know I think you don't know how to handle it and exactly i think one of the hardest things for me that i did as an adult was to be a an adult caregiver for a parent because we didn't go through that with daddy because he died yeah. young. It was very difficult. But um, a lot of people, um, and, and I'm going to sidetrack here, but it's still concerning our conversation. Uh, Mary has two phones she keeps. She has the business phone and her personal phone, and I have my personal phone. And I'm tethered to my phone, and so is Mary. Um, it's just. Um, we, we've had people text us at 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. We do not turn our phones off. And, and there's two reasons that I don't turn mine off. One of them was when my sister was in an airport and she had lost her phone and a strange number was calling me and they called over and over and over. I had no idea that it was my sister. I turned my phone off. That was something that just haunts me to this day because I had I turned my phone off. And after the next day when I found out what happened, it was like, you know, she needed me and I wasn't there for her. And she came and you came. And the other thing was when we were trying to call you and, and, and get Mama. you. I know. So we don't turn our phones off because we want to be there when somebody needs us to call. And and what what I'd like to say here is that business phone is connected to her phone. So whatever y'all message or call on that phone, it also rings her the dings too. We both get the messages. Y'all y'all will say hi Linda or somebody will say hi Mary. And we don't know, and then you and you keep talking, and we realize that you're actually talking about the other person, you know, like right, because we know that what they're saying, but they're calling us, calling me, Linda. And you, so sometimes we don't know who which one of us to respond <laughs> because we don't know if you're talking, actually talking to Linda, or if you're talking to me, because we we get the same text right. when you quit on the business line. If you want us personally, you call our personal, our personal phone number, number, which is on our webpage. And and this is not in any means trying to be rude or mean or anything. It's 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 comical now because it's what 10:30, 10:45. It's not comical at three o'clock. No, in the especially when I know my sister is sick or something. That's, I'm afraid maybe something's wrong with one of my brothers. Uh, and I'm a very light sleeper. I always have been. We all are light sleepers. Yes. Pinkstons are light sleepers. Um, and 3 o'clock in the morning, my phone dings. And I'm, I'm not going to get up. I'm not going to get up because once I open my eyes, that's it. I don't go back to sleep. 
And then I said, but what if it's Mary? Or what if it's somebody calling? So I get up. I do do. And I, I get have a text tell you. message, what you doing? <laughs> I'm serious. What you doing? Well, I was asleep. I got up you woke me up. Because I'm thinking, you know what? Because it'll ding, and then all of a sudden you're laid down and think, well, I'm not going to. Answer. And you know, they have dance again. again. Yes. So I get out of the bed and go check my phone. So we love y'all to pieces, but please be considerate. And, and we don't mind you calling and texting. It's just the time of the night. It's yeah. kind of, it scares. It yeah, scares us it's really bad. bad. It's, it's that time difference and people in different time zones. And and apparently they don't realize that <laughs> we're in the bed. No, and I, 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 Linda, I think I've done that to a few people myself. I won't see the post, and I won't read it until, because I'm busy doing something, and then what I do, and, I, and I'll be answering it, and it might be 9 or 10 o'clock at night, and I think, oh no, I'm doing them the same way they do me, I'll answer it, and I think, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get to y'all, and y'all be maybe in California, or, or New York, or something, so, I mean, anyway, I it's remember hard. one time when uh, I was doing column references, I was hiring when we worked from home, um, we most of the time we were supervisors, and mm -hmm. we we staffed a lot of people over different different states, and I guess in all the states. Yeah. I don't guess I ever staffed anyone in Alaska, but this person was in Hawaii, and um, I called for a reference, and they were very very nice, but they let me know it was five hours time difference, so I was calling them in the middle of the night, and that totally broke me from calling anyone yeah. at that time of morning not knowing that you know there was that big of a time difference so you know if we've all done it it's we've just because yeah. like i said i have done it too and this uh especially on facebook if i get up and wake up at two o'clock in the morning i start and i thought oh goodness i can't do this somebody's like it's like a ding on their phone that i'm answering their text or whatever so I've done it, and it's it's just one of those things. But it's just when you have so many people. Linda, do we have any questions? Yes, we do. Okay. Go ahead. I'm going to check <clears throat> my muffins. Okay. Okay. Um, Mary, what did you do with the leftover filling from yesterday? Oh, well, uh, there's, there's very little. We've got, I've got one bell pepper left and a little bit of the filling because... Uh, my son, he came. I gave him. Uh, I gave him three of them, and um, and then he put a little extra filling on his plate on the side because I, when you're eating the bell pepper, I like a lot of the filling. So I would eat the bell pepper with the filling, but I'd wind up having some more bell pepper than filling. So I had that extra little filling on my plate that I eat with the rest of the bell pepper. And so I, I think I've got a bell pepper left. But time we all had a bell pepper, and like I said, my son, I, I gave him three. He didn't eat all of them at one time. He told me later. He always calls and tells me thank you. And he called me. He said, Mother, I eat, I've got one bell pepper left, and I won't let you know that I sure did enjoy it. I think it was he funny because he called and asked you what we were cooking. He wanted to know what yeah, was for lunch, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. So he makes two meals out of whatever I cook. And then I'll, I'll eat another one for supper. I, we eat them. I didn't take them. I didn't take them and give any of those away yesterday. So that's what we do. We try to either give it away or, or eat it till it's gone. Line that little tray back here. So what? You have any other questions? When is your surgery, Mary? My surgery is Monday, the seventeenth, seven thirty in the morning. So all you prayer warriors, remember me. And then Mary or Aunt Linda, uh, what flavor was the Jello instant pudding? It was uh, lemon. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Mm, that sure smell good. Those are the small ones. Yeah, those smell good, delicious. So, yeah, lemon flavoring. Uh, if you're doing a cake mix. And you uh, and you want to put instant pudding, uh, like if you use a chocolate um, cake mix, there's all kinds of instant chocolate puddings. You can use double fudge. You can use fudge. There is uh, cream cheese that you can put um, in a vanilla or strawberry. You can get a strawberry uh, cake mix and put strawberry instant pudding, or you can put uh, cream cheese 
There's just all kinds of ways. I I have a lot of recipes that I use a cake and in, in, uh, instant pudding. So the mothers likes a little bit extra. Um, yeah, they were bigger than than yeah than this. Whoops, I knew that was gonna happen. That sinks if you put that uh, uh, glaze on there while it's hot. It sinks down into it moistens yeah. the uh, cake. And trust me, they are all uh, very moist. They're very they're awesome. I'm just yes. using a cake text text texture to uh, punch some holes in it. It goes down into the cake like that. We got enough glaze here for I know. <laughs> a couple of cakes, I think. But this will keep. Oh yeah. Any other questions? Um no. Uh Hold on, there's one coming up. Can you substitute anything for eggs? Instead of using eggs, can you use something else? Um, there's an egg substitute. Um, I'm not familiar with the name, but if you know what they are, yeah. yes, yeah. you can. Yeah. There's egg substitute. You buy, it comes in a carton in the, um, in the section where the eggs are. It says egg substitute. These are almost ready, but not quite. And, um, you know, you can use applesauce in place of oil, you know. Yes, you can. Let me get a, there's um, a lot of sub different types of substitution. You know what I've been thinking about? Um, this um, health plan that Linda owns, there is a, a lot of good recipes. I may do one of those recipes one day. The Octavia is for, it's called Healthy. I don't know. Lindy, uh, yeah, I, don't oh, know. I don't know. I don't may, she may not can because oh, okay. of copyright. I'm not sure. It may have copyrights. I'm not sure. Um, but I want to try one of those recipes. I was thinking about that last time. Someone asked how much weight you've lost. Well, I actually had started, I was losing a little bit of weight before I actually started this plan, just, just because I was having problems with my stomach and uh, I have the diverticulosis. So I was already losing some. Uh, within a year's time, I'll put it that way, I've lost about 40, 40 pounds, about 40 pounds. But I, when I started the diet, I've lost about 25 pounds from the diet. So I had lost about 15. But in a year, within the last year, I've lost about 40 pounds. Okay, we're probably going to need this other tray here. Can I do something with you? Do you want me to get these out? Or you wanna, uh, um, are you going to run around the edges? They probably won't need it, Mary. You can. Okay. I, I don't think they will. They're just hot. I don't want you to burn yourself. Yeah. Someone wants to know where you got your red trace. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We've got, got all different yeah. colors of these trays. I know. We used to work for uh, in store marketing. This is way back when. Yeah. Um, I'm and uh, um, honestly, I think we're going to do with my pot holders. Did I move them? Um, we used to do de food demos. We did demos. Yeah, we were supervisors. We had, we had um, people in the in stores I doing demos. There sale. Uh, you know, you see these uh, food demo demonstrations like in the stores. Yeah, we used to be supervisors over different areas, and um, and they provided these trays. And, uh, and it wasn't just that we did in store merchandising, yeah. and. Um, and when they got through with it, they threw it away. Yeah, they so these trays they gave away. whatever we wanted. They gave it to us, and right. we kept them. I've got a. We use it at Christmas when there's uh, uh, yeah, people are serving there. their sale. We use it in Christmas. Do you want to put the thing over it? Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Can you turn them upside down? Yeah. You can. Yeah. Yeah. That means they're hot. Fun. They are very hot. Mm -hmm. You may not can turn them over. I don't want you to burn yourself. Yeah, I don't. I didn't want to cook these too long, so you'll see that they're they're a little bit soft, but they're done. Yeah. I'll see if I can't move this. It's that blueberry stuck to the paper. You don't need to cool them a little bit before you come out, maybe. I don't. Know. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, there you gotta go. On that one, the blueberry is soft and it's hot, hot and it's stuck to the paper. Okay. So, All right. They sure do smell good. And I got this, this morning and put our supper on. So I know. she's made okay. meatballs and gravy.
these are going to be a little bit lopsided because if I'd have left them in the pan a little bit longer, they would have kept their shape. But it's not like they, they sure smell good. Did you want me to poke holes in that? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't poke holes in them, did I? <laughs> Sorry about that. This is a very thin hole, so it's not... Yeah, can you do those over there too, Mary? Yes. Thank you. Now you can make um, regular size. You don't have to make the jumbos. If you make regular size, yeah, because uh, it's too much, too much, too much for me to eat one time. Big, they're big. The main reason that I do the muffins and not the cake when we're doing a, a video is because of the time it takes. It takes a lot less time to do. Muffins. So that's yeah. main, that's the main reason yeah. I do them like this. I think that's got enough on them. Okay, now which one do you want to take off? It don't matter. Uh, when you take it off, I'll cut it and sample it. And I've got pretty platters, but I just, oh, this one, you got put it on this to, you want to show them, Linda? See, it's got lots of blueberries in it. More than likely, it's got more than what you would buy a muffin yeah. in the store. Mm -hmm. And I know it tastes better. Well, I'm picking taste because I picked them. You want to get another fork? Yeah, I am. So good. And Linda, you know you can have some, but I don't think you want any. You do. You Linda's, Thank you, though. Got, Linda's, Linda's, uh, Linda's got good strictly, yeah, strictly. She's doing a little bit better in her diet. I've got, I'm actually not on the plate. I'm really not trying to lose weight now. I'm just trying to maintain it. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Can you taste the lemon? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Mm. That's, it tastes like lemon. It tastes it's really a, fresh, doesn't it? Really lemon taste. It's real tart with those blueberries. It's delicious. So if you make them, leave them in the pan just a little bit longer. They won't look a little bit lopsided like these do. Uh, I just They're wanted delicious. to get them out. I didn't want to put the um, glaze on them in the pan because then they, they would really be hard to get out. They would yeah. stick. Yeah. yeah, you have to get them out before you glaze them. That glaze, when that glaze gets cold, it's, yeah. it's uh, thicker and it sticks. So we hope that y'all enjoyed this today. Um, remember that we are on YouTube. We got all of our videos. Little Linda did. Get them all on there. Uh, tell your friends about us. Um, go to our website, www.peakymallskitchen.com. Uh, you'll see our merchandise there. Uh, I believe we have these white we aprons. Have them, right. right? These are two different white aprons. Hers has the drawstring around the neck. And this one does not. That's so like the pink two, one. Yeah. This is this is like our pink one that we sell. So two different kind. So if you want white, you have to you have yes, to specify. Yeah, you do. And I guess this will be the last time that you see me on here for a uh, week or so. Oh, that's why you will be on tomorrow. I'm yeah. sorry. I got I got my surgery on the night. I will be on here tomorrow. Sorry about that. Okay. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> and then we'll have uh, either Little Linda or Carl with me next week while Mary recuperates. And we're hoping that if all goes well, uh, we're going to be, she'll be back on live with us the next week. She won't be cooking or lifting, but she'll be on the show. Yes. So um, I'll only be out a week. Lord willing. Lord willing. That's what we're, that's yeah. what we're hoping and believing. So um, any last questions before we close? Um, no, I think we got them all. Okay, so thank you, Carla, for uh, monitoring the other yes. ends. Uh, we don't, I want to ever slight Carla. She's not yes. being seen, but yes. 
she's a big help to us. And Carla and is the, awesome. And yes, she is. And Chuck and Mike. So we love y'all. Be sure to count your blessings. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye.